My brothers and sisters in the Lord, good morning. Receive greetings from our church. We have the, you know, uh, great news to share with you. We are in the yellow face. Now, when the governor office grants us permission for Lebanon County to go from the red face to yellow face, the Diocese of Harrisburg, which allowed us to put restoration guidelines into effect that we can safely gather here at the church for Sunday Masses and daily Masses. The parish staff, volunteers, and I are working very hard on studying these guidelines and adapting them to our own situation. Since each parish throughout our diocese are different, we will, we will discuss this issue of sanitation, public safety, as well as the health and vulnerability of all who will gather here in our church. We ask for your prayers and your patience as we work through these guidelines that we can provide a safety and uplifting experience for you. If you want to uh, to read more about the guidelines, please check the website uh, of the diocese. Highlights of these guidelines are as follows. The diocese strongly recommends that those who are sick have a compromised immune system or are considered more vulnerable continue to remain home at this time. The dispensation from Sunday obligation to attend Mass is still in place. All Masses, live stream Masses, are you know, going to continue doing from our churches as we do. Public Mass, our public Mass will be on June 13 and 14 in our parish. This does take time to prepare ourselves, as you know, uh, take required time in our own situation. Uh, I need volunteers to help me to continue help the preparation when this time, because the social distance um, this require, the proper sanitation we need to be observed. So the sanitation must be take place before mass and after mass. Parish buildings may contain no more than one third occupancy at any given time. Public masses may also take place in church falls, outdoors in church parking lots. They have the recommendation from the church. All parishioners attend mass must wear a face mask. This is important in this time, my brothers and sisters. Mask may only, only this be removed when receiving Holy Communion. Holy Communion will be distributed after Mass. After I do the final blessing or Father John, we can distribute Communion, those who can receive. We recommend the Holy Communion be received on the hand. This is a recommendation. If somebody wants to receive in the mouth, all they can give. Confessions may resume at the pastor's discretion. Think about in your, in your safety, in our safety, safety together, the social distance, proper sanitation as follow. I, you know, I think about it important to do the sacrament uh, will be in the place uh, at the entrance of the elevator. There's a, a space there. I can put two chairs, one for the priest, one for the penitent for the sacredness of the sacrament will be, we're going to start the, the confessions, going to start June the 11th, Thursday. Will be, I will be hearing confessions from 4 <coughs> to 6 story um, at the entrance of the parking lot. On Saturday, confession 3 o'clock in the Paris Center because the distance, we need to pay attention. Um, 
Proper sanitation will occur again, do you know, after, before mass and after mass. I need volunteers if somebody wants to help me, especially Saturday uh, evening. Do you know I need people if you want to help us? Please call the office, just give the name or email us. By send the email your name and your contact information. As you know, when you enter the church, the holy water fount will be remain empty. If somebody wants holy water, you can bring the um, bottle water you can bless, then you can have in your homes. All hymnals, missalettes, and Bibles will be removed. The sign of peace will continue to be omitted. As you know, we'll be limited sitting space in our church. You know, I encourage to those, especially the Spanish people, those who understand English, come to the masses um, for and I, then we have the Spanish mass 11. So I truly encourage the young people to come. I ask the young people, especially those who are confirmed last year, or they are going to confirm soon, or this coming year, please come and help me to be the ushers. We need ushers, those who help us clean in the church, and any, I, I can use any help from you. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for continuing uh, continue your prayers and patient uh, are very much appreciated as we work to make the liturgies and the sacraments are available as possible during this unusual and unprecedented times. I wish you the best. Please keep us in your prayers. Prepare yourself, especially those who come to our church and I have our Heavenly Mother to continue bless you and protect you. I hope to see you soon. This is the good news. Uh, greetings from my heart and from the parish staff and the volunteers. God bless you all. Have a great day.